Coach Ken Halstead joining us now here on the postgame. Uh, Coach, a 9-2 to victory here this evening over Glidden Ralston. Opening round for you guys, second round, though, of the playoffs. How would you feel like things went tonight? Well, um, first of all, it was exciting to play Glidden. I, I, I think um, Bruce has done a, just a good job with that ball club. They, they do things right. They were really fired up. Um, it just kind of makes it fun to play when you know that you're going to play a pretty good team and that has – two pretty good pitchers they can throw now and you know you saw that on us tonight is, is we have two good pitchers out there and what a weapon that is Jeff to bring McKenzie Olsen in there mm -hmm. in the sixth inning wow that's such a luxury to have she, she's such a humble kid she was here Jeff when she was a third grader and a fourth grader sitting right over by the dugout some of her friends were home playing with Barbies and Polly Pockets and she was here and that's what makes she her so special she's just the neatest kid in the nation so yeah. It was a pretty special night in that respect. Yeah, and she threw well tonight when she got an opportunity and filled in well for you earlier this season when uh, Marissa Spoo was down with an injury. Yeah, she did. Um, you know, she you, you go out there and you think, boy, you know, this kid, I mean, I, I see her stats. She doesn't really look like she she's awesome. So um, Katie Detlinger, Jen, tonight, Jeff, just stole the show. Um, after volleyball, I thought volleyball was her best sport. After basketball, I thought basketball was her best sport. After she went out for golf, I didn't think golf was her best sport. After softball, I think softball is her best sport. I mean, wow, she's she just she just totally in charge of the game. You know, look what it did for Glidden's running mm -hmm. game. You know, when you can't run, that's pretty tough. So it, it kept 9-2, to two and that's what it kept it at. You guys have been good at running all year, able to get out and run some tonight. Was that part of the game plan, was just kind of come out, play your style, be aggressive? Well, a credit to you. You've seen us play probably five or eight or ten times, and, and you know we like to be aggressive. Um, I'm kind of a riverboat gambler sometimes. <laughs> I love getting to third base with one out, and sometimes we get thrown out. But, but we are gonna, we're going to make the other team work, and we're going to put pressure on them, and I think it speeds up their heartbeat a little bit. You know, I, we don't want next of kin just here. We want to make it exciting to come to Crusader softball. And you saw a good crowd here tonight. So um, that's one of the things we do like to run, yeah. Able to get a couple of runs in the second and then just kind of kept building on that lead as this game went on. Yeah, you know, we hit a couple line shots in the first inning, but you can't. You just got to keep your head. It takes a cool head to win a hot game. We want kids to play with emotion but not be an emotional players. And the coach is the same way. How I handle it, Jeff, is I'm worried about teaching the game. Every coach eats free at McDonald's. They didn't hire me to coach. I'm just here to teach the game, and, and that's what I try to do. Talk about uh, Marissa Spoo pitching tonight. Uh, you pulled her out after the fifth inning. Uh, was she beginning to wear down with this heat, or were you just kind of giving her a break with another game tomorrow night? Well, I think it, you throw two pitchers, you see a different momentum, you see different speed, different change-ups. She pitched really well the first four innings. And then you want to take the good with the good sometimes and, and just get her out of there with the lead. So I thought she really – had some big pitches early in the game when the game was on the line at 0-0 in, in the first inning and the second inning. I know Kelsey Wynette tonight stepped up big for you, got a couple of hits early in this game, kind of got you guys uh, off the schneid. Talk about her play uh, as a youngster and out in center field as well. Um, she probably has the best natural instincts of a center fielder we've had at Coon Rapids since 1997. I mean, she just she does some things you can't teach out there. I know she dropped the ball tonight, but but she's been solid out there all year. She has the same sense of humor I do, and so we we, we don't really get along that well. But she's a sweetheart. <laughs> Kent, tomorrow night back here, either Walnut or Exire, Elkhorn, Kimbleton. What do you know about those two clubs? Who do you think, if you want to say, you may see? Well, Walnut was ahead 4-0 to zero in the fifth inning, and our scout we sent there left for some reason. I paid him quite a <laughs> bit of money to go, but I don't know. He, he got back here, so I don't know who won. Um, but we did have a scout there, and we'll have him on video and some things like that as well. So, well, Kent, I tell you what, congratulations on the win tonight. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys back down here tomorrow. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Jeff. Head coach Kent Halstead with the Coon Rapids Barracuda Sanders.